So, LG is known to have been working with rollable displays for a while now. The company has already unveiled TVs with rollable displays, and the company is also looking to extend the technology to smartphones. LG recently launched the LG Wing under its Explorer project, which is basically an initiative from the company to launch innovative new products. We can also expect the LG rollable smartphone to be a part of this project as well. Known as Project B, the LG rollable phone is expected to launch during the first half of 2021, and we may have already seen the teaser during the LG Wing launch event. But right now, it looks like we already have an idea as to what it could look like, courtesy of Let's Go Digital. But before we go into more details, please support this channel by giving this video a thumbs up and also let us know about your thought and opinions in the comments section below. So, Let's Go Digital just recently uncovered a patent for a smartphone with a rollable display, filed by LG back in 2019, with the World Intellectual Property Office, which recently got published in September this year. The document describes a phone with a retractable frame and an OLED display, which slides out from both sides of the device to reveal a tablet-like display, once completely pulled out. Users can also choose to roll out the display from one side of the phone, rather than both sides. Also, when you want to use the phone normally, the rollable screen retracts back into its housing to form a regular rectangular-shaped smartphone. LG is apparently using saw gears and some elastic elements so that the display can slide in and out smoothly. The company will also have a mechanism in place to avoid the display from rolling out unintentionally. In addition, LG has also recently registered a trademark with the European Union Intellectual Property Office for the name of LG Rollable. This trademark also carries a short description of the product, which made mention of style support. Unfortunately, other details like the specifications are currently unknown at this point, so we'll have to wait for an official announcement. last part of uh, my presentation with future technology. Some of you might be wondering where we stand with regards to flexible displays. Of course, we continue working on those displays uh, and, you know, uh, uh, developing the, the, the projects and concepts. But to be honest with you, we're not going to have a commercial device this year. Why? Because we prefer to have a more patient approach um, to this technology and, you know, and see the development and develop further our concept. Having said that, we're very proud of our TCL rollable display, which we unveiled uh, earlier this year, and which continue, we continue to work on. We have a short video on that device as well. The next concept I want, I want you to have a look at is what we call the TCL waterfall display. So with this concept, we have wrapped a smartphone into 120 degrees of display coverage, which can make it a much more uh, immersive experience. And you can ima imagine this type of form factor from, you know, from both sides of, uh, uh, of the device, but also from top to bottom. And that's really an innovation we're very proud of and where we continue to work on and develop the device.
So Samsung's chairman Lee Jae-yong held a design strategy meeting and stressed the importance of an integrated design. It's the first time ever that the CEO of all the important Samsung business units have attended a common meeting including DJ Ko and TM Ro. Samsung's chairman was also photographed at Samsung's research and development center in South Korea in which he was seen holding a prototype phone unlike anything else we have seen from Samsung so far. South Korean people believe this is Samsung's unannounced sliding display smartphone where the display actually stretches from a regular smartphone form factor to a tablet form factor. It also looks almost exactly like the patent that Samsung filed a couple of years ago which shows the display slides from one end to reveal a bigger screen. It looks like Samsung's chairman is also holding a sliding display phone with the same form factor albeit it looks like the mechanism slides towards the left instead of right as shown in these renders. By the way, Samsung has been working on this technology for years now. In fact, they showcased this stretchable display almost four years ago. So it is an entirely new ground for Samsung. Also, if you remember, we got a report from South Korean media a few weeks ago that Samsung is planning to bring sliding screen smartphones to the market as soon as next year. So it seems we are looking at one of the prototypes of this phone and I wouldn't be surprised if the final product ends up looking like this. By the way, LG is also working on a sliding display phone. In fact, they showcased a teaser at their launch event and according to the latest information, they are calling it the LG Slide. It will be launched in March next year so it seems sliding phones are the next big thing to go along with foldable smartphones. In a way, the sliding out screen design is intriguing because it achieves the same goal of teasing the screen real estate of a tablet from a device the size of a typical phone without the complication of bending the device. This could also allow it to have a single, more efficient battery and could potentially solve the problem of a folding phone's telltale crease. So looking forward to next year to see if they are actually better than the folding phones that we have right now. officially stated that the battery life on the iPhone 12 and the previous gen iPhone 11 series is the same, but turns out that's not the case. Mr. Who's the Boss did a battery test among the best phones all the major companies have to offer. That includes the Note 20 Ultra, Mate 40 Pro, Mi 10 Ultra, OnePlus 8 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro. And despite having a 5 nanometer chipset and a 60Hz display, the iPhone 12 Pro performed noticeably worse than the competition. It had a screen on time of 7 hours 16 minutes, which is good but pales in comparison to Note 20 Ultra which lasted 8 hours and 41 minutes in its test. And remember, the Note 20 Ultra has 120Hz and a 7 nanometer chipset, so the reports that said Apple didn't include a 120Hz panel on the iPhone 12 because of battery issues were absolutely true. Anyway, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. 